We should once again have some very strong volleyball teams in the northwest suburbs this fall. As Jay Wilcox reports, Osseo will be one of those top teams. With a good core group back from a team that was 22-7 and seven last season, there's reason for optimism in the Osseo volleyball program. Really good. We have a lot of people returning so and a lot of people that have played together a lot before, so it's really good. We're going to be a very versatile team. We've got a couple of key players returning and they're, they're just meshing well. They're getting along and getting used to playing with each other. If there's a defining characteristic to this team, it's that versatility. Now it's a matter of taking advantage of it. I think it'll help the team because depending on who we play, we can kind of adjust what type of people we have in those positions and it'll help with like their weaknesses or their strengths and they'll help our strengths with the other team. Four-year regulars Taylor Kwan, a top libero, and outside hitter Lindy Ogery are strong players. Riley Steister is also back, and the Orioles will be strengthened by having Allie Hinsey available for varsity play after transferring last season. Last year, Osseo lost a five-set epic battle against Wyzetta in the Section 5 3A semifinals. Powerhouse Champlain Park went on to win the section and state titles, but this season the Orioles could be pushing the Rebels and others for that top spot. Wyzetta is going to have a strong team, St. Michael's going to have a strong team, um, and so we're not the only ones just going after that, but uh, it will be, it's, it's exciting to kind of have that hope for it. No doubt Osseo will be a very good team, but the path to state is not an easy one. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. The Orioles play Tartan at 5 o'clock Saturday at the Breakdown Classic at Edina High School.